What's up, everybody? It's David, your favorite boy band loving bearded beast from Kansas City. I've been trying out a company that I hadn't had a chance to try out before, and I really want to share my thoughts and my opinions about this company. This is. You couldn't hear me? Renewed Man's been around for a little while. I'm sure you guys have heard about him. Jared's been putting stuff out that's high quality for a while. But recently, he brought out a three oil balm and butter set called the Torsador series. If you're wondering what a Torsador is and you missed the live stream where he explained it, it's somebody that rolls cigars. So if you can guess, these are probably all fruit scents, right? Wrong. They're tobacco scents. And a very interesting take on them. So we have three oils, three butters, and one balm to get into. Are you ready? I'm ready. Time to go beast mode. So first off, look at the intricate detail of these bottles. They're all like this. They're just super cool super nice i mean i don't know what else to say about them they are amber frosted glass i happen to have the dropper in mine but these come with an aluminum cap on them and you can change them for the the drippers jared's got some other options on his website it really is whatever your preference could be this is a warm tobacco green tea and mint sounds a little off the wall right but when you crack this thing open it is so, so good. It's not a super overpowering mint, but the mint is there. It's almost more of a, of a spearmint than like a leaf mint or like a mojito mint. So that's really cool. The tobacco is nice and subtle, and that green tea is just right there in the background. This is an amazing, amazing scent. So I'm going to fire off the ingredients. The ingredients are the same in all three oils, guys. He didn't change anything. So like I always say, there's no need to beat a dead horse and say the same thing over and over again. We're looking at apricot oil, almond oil, jojoba oil, avocado, fractionated coconut, castor, argan. And these are actually fragrance oils for the fragrance. So we're not looking at any essential oils in these, which is epic. And look at that beautiful golden goodness as you can see it's not a super thick oil it is medium and i don't know if i told you guys this or not but it smells amazing so good next one up is this one right here this is the oud wood cigar scent i know what you guys are thinking what's oud right i've never smelled oud is oud new whatever this is definitely the most complex scent of the three this is oud tobacco, amber, birch, black pepper, and smoky vanilla. Let that sit in for a minute. Just think about all the times you've smelled those things separately, and it still does this scent no justice at all. This is definitely an I'm going to get noticed scent, and it feels great. All of them feel great in beard. You guys always hear me say, oh, you know, it feels good. It lasts this long. I'm going to be honest with you. This is quite possibly my favorite set of oils as of releasing this video. I am so hooked on these that I cannot get over how good they are. Oh, this one, the Oud is actually not really, it's there, but everything else just kind of sinks in. This is one of the most well-rounded complex scents I've ever smelled in my beer journey. If you're an Oud fan and you don't have this, Oh, you're missing out. You're missing the cream of the crop when it comes to oud stuff. And I know people are going to bring up another scent. Oh, well, this is oud and blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you right now, my preference is this one right here. And if you don't know what the other one is that I'm talking about, I'm sure you could probably type oud beard oil in a search for YouTube and you'd get 5,000 results. This is my favorite oud scent so far. Next up is this beauty right here. This is Havana Beach. What's Havana have to do with cigars? The scent profile on this one, tobacco, subtle musk, and sea salt. Sea salt is one of those things that's starting to hit in different scents. I can think of a, of a sea salt spray that I'd used in my hair for a long time. 
But the scent of sea salt is something that's starting to come around. Maybe it's because it's summertime and who doesn't love the smell of the beach? I'm not talking about the beaches we have here in Missouri where you'd be lucky if you could walk on the sand without finding some medical waste of some sort. I'm talking about a beautiful sunset beach, maybe a nice drink if that's your preference, maybe a senorita if that's your thing, and just the, the smell of manliness in that situation, that's where this takes me. I was talking to a couple of people the other day and all of us have had different opinions on what our favorite is in this three set lineup. And it's a very hard thing to decide because they're all great. But for me, it's Havana Beach. It's such a cool, straightforward scent. I love it, love it, love it, especially in summertime. Anywhere I go, I'm rocking this. Granted, I've taken time to wear the other ones and get used to the scent. And I, like I said, I love them all. But this one, this is my favorite. Moving on to the butters. The first thing you're probably gonna notice, aside from this just being a badass label, is that these are super thick, double-walled, smoked glass containers. With this added depth of glass, it is very, very hard for these to get melted. When I got mine, uh, we were having some really hot weather here in Missouri, shocker, but these weren't melted. They weren't liquid. I opened it and they still had, they weren't completely solid, so don't think that but they still had some body to them and I couldn't do this and shake up my butter like I can with some other ones. Look at that beauty right there. This is just a great butter. So looking at it on the hand, watch this. Just gone. Jared did such a great job blending these butters that literally as soon as you're scooping them out with your finger, as soon as your finger heat touches the butter inside the container, it's already starting to melt there. All right, let's go over the ingredients for the butters. Shea butter, almond oil, mango butter, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, meadow foam oil, beeswax, apricot oil, jojoba, fractionated coconut, avocado, castor, argan oils, and then your fragrance oils for scent. How is that for a lineup? I mean, when you're talking about some all-stars in that show, and you can tell that Jared has taken his time to find quality, quality ingredients. I've had a talk with a couple people about how can he be using the same stuff that other companies are using and the feel is totally, totally different. And the only thing I've come up with is it's where he sources his stuff from. So high quality ingredients will always make a high quality product. And I am grateful for him using high quality stuff. These are the other two butter containers. Equally as awesome, I just can't say enough about his labels. This is Jared's Balm. You can see the pick in there, the Renewed Man pick that comes with it. And you might ask yourself, Dave, why do you need a pick for a balm? It's because this is a true balm. This isn't like a really just scrape off a little bit, more like a butter type balm. This is a thick, full body balm. Like it's got styling capability to it, still got some conditioning stuff to it, but it is awesome. And really, balm lives matter, right? Some people new into growing your beard, you're gonna need a balm. Sometimes when I do a beard trim and I have a couple flyaways, I'll throw some balm in and it just holds it down until my hair gets trained to do what I want it to do. The only difference between this and the butters as far as ingredients goes is beeswax is the first one. So it's got more beeswax to give it that nice thick hold to it. This is the beautiful box that the oils come in, the three pack of oils that I've talked about. I'm not gonna ruin the rest of the surprise, but I will say when you get your package from Jared, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised at a couple things that are in there. In conclusion, what do I think about Renewed Man? Uh, I'll leave it to your imagination. Guys, if you have not used Renewed Man yet, I would definitely recommend trying this series out. I love it. I love the way it feels in beard. I love the way it smells. I love every single thing about this from packaging to how it was when it got delivered before I got into it. It's got a cool box on it that's got its logo so you know that it's there. Opening the box, the whole experience of it was just great. And for that, plus a great feel in beard, plus my beard getting the stuff it needs, he knocked it out of the park. This is a no-brainer for me anyway. So I say head on over to Jared's website, renewedman.com. Pick yourself up the Torcedor series and maybe something else that catches your fancy. Guys, you will not regret it. And as always, until I see you guys again, be awesome to each other.